we're, we're looking around temperatures of in the mid 70s right now uh, it's, uh, uh, it's probably late February in uh, Arizona Tucson Arizona pretty nice temperatures right now but if you see my hair is blowing around it's pretty darn windy today uh, we had a nice temperature though I think it was like in the upper 70s actually so it was pretty decent um, I had a long sleeve shirt on but uh, after a while it started getting kind of warm being out here in the sunlight there's the see, I get I, I've started fires lots of fires before but and some fires in wheelchair I've started some fires now that I'm in a wheelchair but the thing about it is, is I've never really started a fire with uh, charcoal that's been so constraining. Uh, I've never really started a fire with charcoal before, so this was kind of a difficult thing. This was kind of a, a new thing to try, you know. Um, and so I got the charcoal there, and if you look in my right ear, I had a, a radio the uh, radio with I brought my little cordless radio with me but anyway so it's, it's extremely windy and I'm trying to uh, start the uh, briquettes they have the briquettes are, are self igniting they have a well they have a uh, they have an alcohol on them already they've already been doused in alcohol or something like that already so so they will start up uh, no problem but it was so darn windy it was just ridiculously windy so it was really hard, really really hard for me to get the fire started um, so I you know my my nephew was there and uh, he's in fifth grade and uh, he was trying to block the block the wind from blowing uh, blowing my matches out I had I tried like six matches. I I had been trying with like six different matches, and it still didn't work. And so anyway, my wife she grabbed a paper, uh, some extra paper that some hard uh, you know paper that she had around from a bag, uh, paper bag, and she gave it to me and I put it on top of the briquettes and and I uh, tried to get it started see it was so darn windy I mean even even whenever I had the, the match on directly on the on the paper there it, it didn't didn't start so anyway I'm, but I'm giving it a try still I'm still this is my I think it's probably my seventh attempt and that one burned out so I'm gonna try it my eighth attempt and uh, that one finally got things going so anyway uh, what I'm gonna do is my my nephew is holding the camera right now so if it's kinda shaky that's because he's holding it um, I, it's pretty shaky whenever I hold it too but anyway uh, he was asking you know, uh, he was wondering. He, he thought that it was lighting the char the charcoal, and I wasn't quite sure. I I knew that the paper was burning, but I didn't know if the charcoal was burning. But after a while, then the paper all melted away, and uh, I could actually see that the charcoal. Yes, the charcoal was burning. So I was pretty happy about that. So. So we finally got the charcoal going, and uh, then we could, then we had to wait for the charcoal to, uh, you know, to to burn up. We had to wait for the charcoal to burn up quite a bit, so that we would have white, uh, the white briquettes, um, because my my brother said that white white briquettes are good um, because then you can then you can uh, you know th that is at the point where the ch briquettes have uh, cooked up pretty good and that's whenever you can cook pretty good on top of it 
Now, what I should have done was I should have grabbed the grill, grabbed the sides of the grill, and lowered it actually onto the onto the briquettes. Uh, whenever the briquettes were all white and uh, they had they had burned through pretty good, and so they were pretty good. Um, but I asked my I asked my nephew to get a picture of me, you know, putting the briquettes in the in the um, in the grill. But he thought that I meant get a picture of my wheelchair. So anyway, uh, what I'm doing is I'm putting in more briquettes because I just I, there was I didn't think that there was enough briquettes in there. So I put some more briquettes in there, but my wife was complaining at me. She said, "Don't do that because then if you do that, then then the fire can jump on the briquettes that you're that you have in your hand, and it can jump on. They can they can set the briquettes on your on your lap. They can set those on fire that bag on fire, and then you just there's a you're you're just on the whole your whole body will start on fire." So anyway, she was freaking out about that, but uh, that didn't happen. Um, so yeah, I, would, I was pretty careful. So anyway, that didn't happen. But anyway, that's what the fire looks like. And you look at the charcoal right there. Uh, the charcoal is white. You see it how it has that white uh, tint or that white tint on it right now. That means it's pretty well done. It's pretty well. The fire has cooked through it pretty good, so it is at that point pretty darn good to uh, cook up. In this case, we were cooking up some burgers, and um, we also uh, cooked up some bacon, and uh, we had some cheese that we put on top of the burgers. But I'm just yeah. So, but but anyway, the we didn't know how clean the grill was, and the green the grill is extremely dirty. So you know, don't don't bet on the grill being clean whenever you get to the park uh, for barbecuing it, it. It we weren't really expecting it to be clean anyway. But anyway, uh, and I don't know what gets on the grill. You know, if there's birds that get on that and they poop or pee or or whatever, or, or you know, it's just all sorts of stuff. I'm holding the spatula here, and my wife is uh, pulling out the bacon uh, and putting it on the tin foil uh, wraps. But the, the the tough the tough thing was that the tin the the it was so windy. You can't really see it right here. Well, look look at the look at the uh, look at the flames of the fire. See how they're f dancing all over the place? Well, that's because it was extremely windy. Now, the re what I'm saying about it being really windy is that actually the wind blew the bacon all over the place. It blew it all over the ground. And so anyway, I had to grab it. Well, my wife actually she grabbed the bacon from the ground there, but luckily it was in the it was in the the um, tin foil, so it didn't get too dirty. I mean, there there's a little bit of dirtiness on the on the on the bacon, but you know, and I told I told my wife, you know, don't worry. I mean, well, you cook it cook it like crazy, and it'll be all right. It'll be just fine. So she, and she was freaking out about that. She said, "No, no, no! I don't want, I don't want, I don't want any of that bacon that has grass on it or or dirt or anything like that." So she was pretty particular about that. But uh, she had some. We brought some hot dogs too, and they were good hot dogs. These are like turkey hot dogs or something like that, which have, I think they have seven grams of protein to one gram of uh, carbohydrate so I, I thought that was really really good that's a really good ratio you would I mean it, 
preferably you, that's what you want. You want seven grams of protein to one gram of uh, you know one gram of carbohydrate because you really want to lower your lower. Well, I don't know about you, but I want to lower my carbohydrate intake quite a bit because I think it makes me tired and lethargic. Uh, but if you look at the briquettes, there they were all white, so that was cool. Um, I told my wife that, uh, and she's using the spatula right now. I told my wife that once the uh, once the blood or once there's a liquid uh, on the top of the of the burger, then you should flip the burger over. So this is what it looked like after I was, you know, after the stuff was cooked. Uh, that's my cheeseburger right there, and uh, I'm just getting hungry just looking at it right now. And that's uh, some of the bacon that we cooked up. It took a while. It took quite a while, and th and th I think the reason why it took so long to cook cook up bacon and things like that is because we didn't lower the grill.